Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, back once again with Germ Gaming. What's up, everybody? We are back in the Scourge of the North series and Total War Attila. And I see a lot of fire, Jeremiah, and disease and fire and Viking things going on finally. Yeah, we're kind of, if you remember the last episode, and hopefully you remember, because it's a little <laughs> fuzzy for me. Yeah. Um, we took Visantio and we discovered that catapults, my giant catapult army, is one of the best things you could possibly have, as long as you have another army along with it. And I think we decided that Gaul has attacked us too many times, and they just need to be gone. One could say that we decided that Gaul must fall. Uh, one could say that. <laughs> One did say that. I don't remember agreeing to that, but one could say it. <laughs> In co-op games, sometimes one partner just gets a little out of control and you just can't stop them. Looking at the bloodsickles here, they're actually in really good shape. Which is good, because that rebel army is concerning back here at um, Broad Omegas. Yeah, it's it's an eight stack. I think I I've got two armies near you to help with Lug Dunham if you just want to head back with the blood sickles and stomp out the rebel army. I ignored a rebel army for too long and I lost Augusta yeah. Traverium. Of course they have negative 221 happiness per turn. So I'm not really sure how long they're going to last. And I might be back to liberate them at some point. And while I've got them open here, I'm going to rename my uh, swift falling hammer army in honor of one of my, and Jeremiah, correct me if I'm saying this wrong, my Patreon supporters, right? Patreon. Right? Patreon. Patreon. Patreon supporters. Uh, Christopher, he is one of my backers, and his tier of backing allows him to name a army. And he picked a very appropriate Viking name, Odin's Fist. Hmm. <laughs> so they're going to be right up front. Good quite job, literally. Christopher. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did like the Swift Falling Hammer, but Odin's Fist kind of rolls off the tongue better. Something else would roll off the tongue even better. Sound really good as an army name. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, look, the, the Garrison Army looks like they might be sallying forth in Lug Dunham. Yeah, I um, did a test attack, and I just remembered what was going on. They have, like... 45 men total between their four units, but I can't attack until my siege tower is ready. So, gotcha. Uh, continue siege and end turn. Could the blood sickles not get to the rebel army? No, they were already at max movement range. So I, I feel like I ended the last episode. It's been a while. Speaking of a while, AI turn. Hey, I turned. Frame raid is meaningless. <laughs> I don't give a crap about all this. I know this is like a pipe dream, but it'd be nice if they could roll their turns like in the background slowly. And only That's change the That's kind of be sequential, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Speaking of pipe dreams. But there are just so many. There's so many. I feel like every episode I complain at least two or three times about how many of these stinking factions there are. And we have it on the fast go around too, where you don't see everything that they do. Uh, Stonemason has shown up. Someone doesn't respect me anymore. The Roman Separatists and the Visigoths are now fighting. Hispania has emerged. I have unseasonal conditions in a good way. And there's a food <laughs> shortage somewhere. All right. <laughs> Unseasonal conditions just sounds like a really fancy name for like a bad meal. <laughs> it means we're having a really good, really good spring so far. Okay. Um, I have a couple catapults coming up to Lug Dunham. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh, no, that's only two catapults and the rest of it's just a regular army. Yeah. So feel that's free to, though. yeah, feel free to just, you know, <laughs> that's going to be an auto resolve. <laughs> 40 men versus 5,000. All right, I'm sending my agent up towards Octodurum because that's where I'm taking both of my armies as soon as possible. Uh, is it burned down? Are you sure there is nothing else? It's tiny and looks to be in bad shape. Um, yeah. But more importantly, I think that might be the only thing the Gauls have left. Let me check them out. Yeah, they're almost dead. So I'm ready to just go ahead and get rid of them. Let's do it. 
and then we can start solidifying our hold over the rest of France. Feels good to say. Um, here, actually, can you can you look at your map right now, or can, do you have to wait till your turn? I can, in fact, look at the map overview. Yeah. Okay. So we have Britain pretty well under control. We got some rebels to stamp out and stuff. Um, and then we're going to have the western part of France pretty soon. Yeah. Do you think we should expand and take Spain at that point and just have control over the bottom of the map? Because it does put us up against the Western Roman Empire, which we are now slightly stronger than. They're pretty weak, too. Like, they're at war with, I think, almost everyone. I mean, because we got to go somewhere, and we have people who are friendly to us, the Burgundians and the Saxons and the Langobards and the Thuringians. Everybody... Yeah. Yeah, see, they're all friendly. So I think if we take... Spain next, then we can move through Italy, Macedonia, into Asia. You know, do that stuff and just leave our allies for the end. Especially seen to the south, towards Spain. All the territories that I can see, which is only three in Spain, they're all rebel held. Like uh, the Picts have some. The Huns might have something. Western Roman Empire, Hispania, who's brand new. Definitely at least three rebels, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's worth it. it. Okay. Sweet. Um, let me see. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to send this army right to Octodurum now. The Santio is Oh, okay. Pissed. It's completely... Okay, I'm just going to occupy it. They like, just surrendered to you or something? They just weren't there anymore. Interesting. That's grim. <laughs> Man... All right, and then Vasantio is going to not be making any money for a while. All right, cool. um, let's see. Octodurum it needs to be repaired, and there's not really anything else going on there. That's like the tiniest city imaginable. Um, <laughs> it's a nice location, though. It's like your own private lake. Okay, so the Thunderbolts of Thor, I think we're going to attack the rebel army near Ialden. In Britain, so I'm just gonna move my tiny little army, the Spirit of the Forest. So we've got them boxed in, so they can't run away. So we can just wipe them out next turn. Gotcha. Uh, we were like, you know, we really need Britain to get their act together here. Slowly but surely, I need some of my places to start making money, and I, I'm sure you feel the same. Yeah, happiness is going down again in Britain. We'll just keep stopping out the rebels, but you should be able to like start trickling enough money. Um, yeah, there won't be an issue. Now, the Saxons are our friends, and they have Avaricum near you and Vienna. We're going to have to just go through their territory and leave it. Do you see? Because they have Vienna back in France, Avaricum, Aquia, Sextai. A lot of them are in the fog of war for me, but yeah, oh, gotcha. I see a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to have to just skip past them. Awkwardly. And, <laughs> yeah, and hopefully that'll be okay, but I don't think... Let me do some diplomacy, and I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Oh, pestilence. That's what's happening. Oh, the tax rate is... pretty... grim? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, whiny peasants? It's right in the middle. That's... It's only 48% of your income. <laughs> All right. Oh, corruption is a problem. That's interesting. Kill them. I lost men to attrition. Political Do obstruction. Doesn't matter. You're going to get like Dunham. True. I'm going to decree. I've got the power. I'm like you're psyching war yourself chief. up. <laughs> I've got the power. You are strong and confident. <laughs> Want to auto-resolve this one? Yes. Yeah, we're going to go aggressive. Yeah. Hey, me too. Oh, the nut kick was unnecessary. <laughs> and then being chopped in the neck with a hatchet. I feel like that's excessive. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to loot and occupy. I need the money. 
Sorry, nice. boys. That, that's getting the extra couple hundred per turn. That's good. And that got me 3,500 for the sacking, so... Fantastic. That'll get me some buildings back home to increase happiness. All right, Rebel Army, they're up to 12 people. If the blood sickles can take them, <laughs> now would be a good time. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Let me look real quick um, for my technology, what's being researched right now. Um, defined Army Taxation. Nice boost to my research rate, 111%. Unfortunately, to build the next building in my tree to make my people happy, like the the religious buildings, I believe, I need, what is it called? Land for loyalty, which costs 10,000. <laughs> ah. I'll research Bayless next. That's, that's next in line. It only costs 2,500. Hard to make money without having money. Yeah. Definitely can't upgrade any of my other, like, side buildings because that lowers public order. Although, I can build a hunter's shrine in Luisus. Anything to increase public order at this point, I'm spending the money there. <laughs> it's like first. There's plenty of food to go around. Um, now for these rebels. Oh, I can reach them. You want to fight it out, Jeremiah? Yeah. Sure. It's, like a, it's a small battle. It's like 2,100 versus 1,000, but... I mean, that, that's a still a fight. And we need the blood sickles to come out of this. Yeah. In good standing. Yeah, for sure. Because the blood sickles are your main army right now, right? Oh, no, you have another 19 stack. So we have pretty much four full armies right now, so we should be able to roll <laughs> through anything we want. It's just a matter of moving all the troops into position and getting organized. And, you know, carefully moving. Hmm. Pretty farmland. All right. How do you want to do this? Would you like catapults? I would <laughs> like catapults. And uh, if you give me some slingers, yeah, yeah, if you give me some slingers, I'll I'll hide them in the trees and then just bring them in to just be annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna give you um, all but one unit of my slingers and my catapult. How's that? Sounds good. I'll give you the cavalry too, so you can focus on those. I'm gonna go with the giant organized double line tactic. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Let me know when your guys are where you want them. I'm good. Here we go. I'm gonna break uh, a little bit to the left here. So you. Okay, alright, then I, I need to get my guys running. It's not really high ground, but it's got some more cover. Well, keep in mind, the catapults can't really help you until they're done moving and they're very, very slow. Yeah, I'm not gonna move up too far. I'm thinking, like, right here. Okay, you're still. They'll still be in the kill range. Yeah. I'm gonna move up a little bit. You guys don't really have to run. Calm down. Hmm. They have very light crossbow infantry, which to me sounds like here's a crossbow and a tunic. <laughs> don't get noticed. They do have three units of cavalry, so. I am going to split my group into 
two units, I think, two main groups. Or, right. like, fast fast reaction to the cavalry, at least. I'm just worried about it hitting from two directions at the same time. Uh, I'm going to kind of do that, I think. That cavalry is definitely making me super nervous now. Double time! Because they're not even probing with it. They're just sitting back there. Because they don't need to. But usually they'd at least be like screening with the cavalry to get rid of the fog of war. But I guess it's a pretty flat map. They can probably see it just fine. Oh, they have a catapult too. I'm going to keep pushing through the tree line here. They're firing on my guys. Catapult? Yeah. Okay. I'm forming two lines. One right here and one right here. And from there, I'm just going to go straight at them from the two sides. Okay. Take aim. Here they come. Got cavalry coming fast. Crossbowmen as well. Your infantry are ready though. Mounted raiders. Ooh, my skirmishers are gonna get hit. Alright, I'm sending my uh, cavalry. At their catapults. This is a shame. Copy that. Okay, I've shaken off their cavalry. Now to push up from the other side. All right, my cavalry ran right into their catapults. Nice, very nice. You might want to move your swordsman away from their crossbowmen. I'm going to kind of sacrifice them to break them up a bit. Okay. Yeah, they're they're already hit pretty hard basically. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. What is going down back here? Horrible things from the look of it. Mounted raiders. Oh, hey, crossbowmen. My cavalry will just run right into you now. <laughs> yep, running archers aren't really great against cavalry. Now I'm going to run them at the king. The general. Slingers fall back just a bit. I'm going to move my slingers at the general as well. Okay. I'm going to throw my general right into the back of their troops. If you can put some catapult shots, uh, maybe some flaming ones in the massed troops fighting our men, that would be perfect. All right. General is fallen. Well, nice. didn't take long. My swordsman just caught up with the crossbowmen. Oh wow, they broke very fast. Raise banner. Oh, nice hits. Nice. Dude, that is brutal. 
as they retreat. Well, that was well played, I'd say. Yeah, that's about as good as you could expect it to go. I mean, their cavalry should have given them a significant advantage, but they were way too conservative. I mean, you had superior numbers, and you split into two things and hit them from both sides. I mean, you lost close to what they did, so it's not like... I wouldn't say they got routed, they just didn't have enough numbers. Yeah. going to replenish. No. Ransom. I want that money. Oh, they're running away. Can you hit them again? I can. <laughs> Auto-resolving. Aggressive. Oh! That'll do it. Lost eight men. Sweet. All right, and then back uh, back near Isleden, can you go ahead and attack that rebel army? I'm within reinforcement range with a couple guys. Yeah, and on this one, we're going to want to fight for sure, because our numbers are a little too close. It's probably but... going to be a wash, yeah. Oh, Gaul is destroyed, by the way. Nice. I'm going to buy some mercenaries just for the battle. I'm going to get some... Well, I got lots of money, actually. I've got 1700 I can buy a bunch to That's really... That's not lots of money. <laughs> for mercenaries, though? Just to throw away for a single turn? That's a beautiful amount of money. Axe band. Two units of artillery. Mounted spears. Wait, no, no. Cavalry raiders. I just spent a lot of money on on mercenaries, but I've got a 11 stack now. All right, let's do it. You know what? I'm going to be extra careful. Berserkers. That ought to do it. One more unit of berserkers. Now we're talking. All right, well, since I only have skirmishers, I'll let you handle the main force. And I'll just try to skirt around them. Is all you have skirmishers? Skirmishers are then by generals' uh, swords. Gotcha. Which can be a, a battle changer. Hey. I'm still doing uh, formations. Hmm, interesting terrain here. I was about to say, this is an awkward hill. If they're smart, they're going to back right on top of that hill in the middle with their catapults. Well, guess what? <laughs> I brought two catapults with me. <laughs> Make sure none of your guys run uphill because that could get really bad. I mean, I don't know how. It's going to take them forever to get in any position to do something. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Yeah, that's right. You got to reinforce. tremble before our superior numbers! I mean, they're moving, but it's going to take forever. I'm going to take God, the high ground me. near me and just kind of hold it, I think. Ooh, Looks like actually... they're coming for you, actually. You need to... Form lines, man. Form lines. Yep, my guys are going to be jogging uphill for a while. The enemy engages our ally. Do we help? Here we go. Screaming. Nice catapult hits. Ready. 
Oh, a lot of people just burned to death on my lines. It happens. War sucks. Enemy units have returned to the battle. There we go. We hunger for blood and battle. Put my general into the fight against this cavalry here. Spearmen. Take them as well. Got a lot of swordsmen here. Oh wow, catapults, you just hit our guys right in the back. Just send your cavalry after uh, their catapults, and my skirmishers are coming up and they can hit the guys you're running towards. I'm just worried about their general who's actually mounted as well. I know, but yeah. I, my guys are here now. Okay. If you can reinforce my main line, that would be most helpful, I think. I'm actually going to be able to get up behind them. Nice. Yeah, I'll have my catapults engage theirs for now just to keep them distracted. Now we're talking. Those berserkers work pretty well. Some of the men have gone berserk. What does that mean? That doesn't sound good. Uh, their catapult guys abandoned the catapult, made it about a hundred feet, and one of my flaming shots took out like six of them. They're all <laughs> screaming. <laughs> nice. Your day. Fire leaps over the battle. Was that three victories so far? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's some rebels. You know, we we haven't gone up against a big town. Hey, that was that was a decent sized army. We didn't have very much to oppose that until the mercenaries arrived. Local betrayal. Make sure you fire them. Yes, most definitely. Give them their 1099s and get them out of here. Yeah, let's see. Ready for battle. Disband you guys. Disband you guys. All you guys. I'm gonna keep one unit of berserkers, because they were kinda awesome. They're shirtless, and it says, poor armor. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Cool. Well, it looks like that'll get Isled in to stop complaining so much. And Jeremiah, I'm making money. 300 per turn. That's a start. Oh. <laughs> can't do anything with the research for three more turns, so it is all you once I assign these skills. <laughs> I think I'm going to go take Augusta Trevorium back, and then since that's also Western Roman Rebels, uh, I might go for Augusta Vendelicorum. Although Western Roman Separatists have a really big town pretty near my catapults. It wouldn't be anything to just pop over the mountains and grab me another town. <laughs> there we go. Everything assigned. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, loyalty is wavering. Loyalty's wavering. Uh. Sounds like time for some decimation. Yeah, boring, boring, boring. 
I don't know why anybody wants to leave the winning team here, you know? Oh, wow, my army has incredible integrity. Odin's Fist is at 97%. That's a lot of integrity. Bloodsicle's at 100? What? Alright, I'm gonna send... Yeah, the warrior scowls. I want to go ahead and get them in position. Well, I don't know if I want, I want them to leave the area. Mm, let's see. Where are they most useful? I'll put them back in Vasantio. Ready for battle, warriors all. And then let's go check out. Uh... Yeah. I'll attack the Western Roman Separatists. Oh, call to arms. Let's do it. An end to talk. We take the settlement for Well, shoot, shoot. There's Huns all over it. <laughs> we're, we're, Retreat. Oh, oh, what? There are... Oh my gosh, there are three full stack hunt armies. Okay, we have a new priority, I think. <laughs> the mountains will be our shield. Jeez, well, we need to be ready for that. I guess that explains why everything's on fire. I'm gonna head towards Augusta, Trevor. Oh, crap, they got people too. Alright, I'm gonna have to start bringing. I just noticed, Jeremiah, I've got an 11 stack and a 13 stack back in our home territories. I'm going to get one of those on the ocean and heading south. I think that might be a good idea. They're crappy armies, but I can change that once they get down here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave my spy in the area just to keep an eye on things. <laughs> keep an eye on the horde. Wait, is that... I got out of control pretty quickly. It's called the Golden Army. That seems important. <laughs> All right, let me just do some settlement management. Wow. Someone say uh, Fallout? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna start building crap. Gotta get these towns up and respectable. And have to run away from whatever the Huns are doing. My goodness. I don't wanna be anywhere near that. For sure. Wait, do I have an entire territory? Artemagus. Theronium. I do. Time to issue some edicts. Because some of these settlements are still very, very angry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have some rebellions here in, uh, most likely Tyronum first. As long as you got a plan to cure what ails them, if you know what I, I mean. I think the Blackened Sails will hold down Rotomagus while the Bloodsickles head on south to get ready for putting down a rebellion. I'm going to do some diplomacy. It's been a while. Um... The Alamans. They like me. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and ha ah, ripe women to ease other parts. That town held by the the Western Roman rebels is at negative 224 for the happiness. That's 
I think the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, they're not. They're not happy. Check to a cup of wine first. I'm just doing some. Uh, nobody wants to be a tributary state. What is necessary to make that happen? I think that only happens when like. Most of their body is being crushed by the heel of your boot, and like they have just enough oxygen left to beg for mercy, and then they become tribute state. I like the sound of all of that. <laughs> they don't, hence the resistance. I want hourly patrols. Ready for orders. Uh, what's going on at Lindum? All right, well, I've spent most of my money. Ready for orders. The warrior scalds have some traditions. And I do not care about having a provincial governor right now. A feast, my lord. We should hold a fabulous feast. Will that help with the Huns? Because right now, if it doesn't you, help but... with the Huns, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to invite our allies to the feast. You're welcome. I mean, I'll see what I'm doing that night. <laughs> Check your calendar. <laughs> That's great. I just noticed that there's a descendant line key. I have at least one bastard. <laughs> Ready for battle. Seek a wife. <laughs> Wait, yeah. If you click on seek wife, he gets a target. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I spy with my little eye? <laughs> a queen! A queen to be! <laughs> you know, I think, Jeremiah, before next time, we're gonna find us a good three-hour YouTube series that lightly reviews the family system, because I'm still pretty lost, and I feel like, as I'm losing influence here, that's gonna become a problem. Didn't we mention doing that like a long time ago? I don't remember. I don't care about the family system. I just keep trying to secure loyalty and stuff. Yeah, but I feel like we should look at it. Hmm. I don't have quite enough money for a town center. My taxes are dropping like a rock. I don't know why. But I will send this army out to sea. If I can. Can I? How about you guys? Fine, you guys go out to sea. Oh, that's that's your army in my capital. Where? Like, why can't I move this army? I circled it for you. Uh, Refsnolt's my capital. Oh, right. Because you are... The Geats now. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure why we switched, but it's full of confusion. Oh, remember Angulus. The Angles we're not friends with. And they have Angulus. We could make that a priority sometime in the future. I guess for now, my army should really just stay there and... <clears throat> in, um... Yes. In Lugdunum. Resupply and guard the border. Probably. I'll send this one uh, back south. I'm probably going to disband my navy. They're not really doing anything. They have it in like 15 turns. Yeah, I think I'm going to disband a few of my extra naval ships. I've got a lot. Yeah, I have... 12. I'll get it down to... Hmm. 
make it an even 10. Okay, end of my turn for now as soon as this character gets an upgrade. <laughs> There we go. You still have that spy watching the Huns? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're just uh, camped all around him. I don't think it's hit their turn yet. I mean, I'm sure they're going to take it. But knowing them, they'll probably just raise it and move on. Because they're nomadic. Yeah. Which sucks, because that's a nice walled city. That's a big, nice walled city. <laughs> Gaul is actually not no more. I got a message that Gaul is no more, but they have one tiny little settlement near Spain. I got the same thing. Do they just take it with like a rebellion or something? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It must have been a rebellion, like in a former Gaul territory. Oh, I need to raid a region to disrupt the enemy's trade. Raid a settlement or trade route belonging to Gaul. Deadline has elapsed. Oh, apparently I did it. Um, <laughs> nice. one place is going to a worthy bride. Uh, sure, I'll give my blessing. You are a kind leader, my lord. A lot of people have been declaring war on each other. I'm not even going to read all that. Uh, an enemy agent slowed the Children of Doom down. Oh, wow. uh, all those declarations of war, just so you know, are in a circle around us, so. Yeah, but they're not, I mean, they're just declaring war on each other. Y yeah, yeah, just, there's a lot of conflict going on. Let them cower before us. There's a political assassination. Uh, we're gonna continue the siege, because I honestly don't know if I would win that one. You need some backup? Um, if you have an army in the area, yeah, send them to Augusta Trevorium. Since the children can do, get... we're gonna, they're going to be a while getting there. Yeah. I might be able to get the blood sickles there now that Thoranum isn't going to rebel next turn, probably. That'd be cool probably with that. Not. Gosh, I keep seeing the Geats and thinking it's me. All right, territories are going okay. Some of these places back home might actually be making money soon. All I really need to do is secure some loyalties. Hmm, I have less than half the power in my faction. I have, uh, I have more. I have good dominion, but poor control for an overall power score of only 59%. How can I A little concerning. Move oh, I need to check the governorship. warned me that I was sieging Augusta Trevorium with no siege equipment. I know. <laughs> I have two catapults. That's the only siege equipment I need. When the Children of Doom Ready get there, the just you wait. My man finally found a bride! Your king approves, because I ordered you to get married. <laughs> What a happy time for everyone involved. <laughs> Shut up, continue the, li the line. Just go. I forgot to... I 
forgot to disband my navy. Next time. I can marry them into the family. I should probably stop clicking on all this stuff. I figure if I marry off one of the widows, that makes them part of the family, right? Yes. Right. Wow, I'm still pretty low on funds. Let me try to get the icicles to you. It looks like I can be within reinforcement range in one more turn. Sounds good. Make it a sure thing, you know. Everything back home looks quiet. Okay, well. Ooh, provincial governor, I almost forgot. Anyone to assign? Yes. Hey, there's a rebel army that's popped up in France, so we'll have to kill them on the way past. Yeah. Okay. I already had the, what is it called, order for France? Uh, the Judgment of Woden, <laughs> which increases public order. The last thing I wanted to check. Very useful for newly conquered territories. <laughs> what are the rest in Western Roman Empire doing? The Rugians want me to join the war against the Mygars. I don't even know where they are. They're offering a grand. I don't even know where the Mygar is. I can't get to them. I mean, if I join the war, am I going to have to do anything? I would imagine you lose influence for not helping. That makes sense, you know? Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna ask for more money, though. I set aside my sword to speak to you, warrior to warrior. Now they're demanding this is the way of the an arranged marriage, and they don't care if I join the war. What? <laughs> they just want a piece of that empire. Now they want an arranged marriage and a grand. I don't even understand. Whatever, I have a grand that I didn't have before. <laughs> I think I might have sold off a, nie a nephew, a niece. Yeah, I think I might have sold a niece. <laughs> oh, no. Well, no, I mean, they're a friendly country somewhere over there. <laughs> did you just Game of Thrones your kin? <laughs> uh, I think that's how everyone did it back then. Uh, Dave, I don't know if you heard. A thousand gold. <laughs> well, I didn't even know her name. It's we weren't close. Um, Visatio. Wait. Oh, they're being attacked by the rebels. Well, ought to resolve that. Where at? Uh, Visatio, the rebels oh, attacked oh, me. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I see it. The children of doom can take it back. It just slows me down. It's funny how the Western Roman rebels aren't returning their captured territories to the Western Roman Empire. They're like splintered off permanently. It's a time of great change and upheaval. Thirsty for 
I can't believe I even have to waste time killing this army. Oh wow, what a surprise. For the tribe. All right, next turn, maybe I'll be able to get to Augusta Trevorium. The Huns are still sieging media on them. I don't really know what the plan is there. For the tribe. Oh geez, these boats are expensive. Shoot, I don't even want a navy anymore. <laughs> I mean, they, they haven't done anything in so yes. long. If someone shows up with a giant navy, they weren't going to do anything anyway. Well, the, the Vikings have been going inland for a while now, so... Some noble enemy has fallen in battle. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, more of that, please. <laughs> we honor their sacrifice as we burn their homeland. <laughs> There goes all that money spent on Camelodunum. Make me proud. Man, I think I spent... I spent money on Visantio too. As you do. Yeah, I'm probably not doing any of that correct. Alright, um... Let's see. The Warrior Scalds, I don't think... Oh, jeez, the rebel army's up to 15. I need to smash them as soon as the Children of Doom can get there. That's just stupid. Oh, time for that nonsense. Oh, all right, we have unassigned skills. He's a governor. All right, what do you got for me? Someone has objected to the planned marriage. I'm sorry, someone wanted to take its long swim somewhere? <laughs> I can decree, bribe, or forget it. Hmm. I think my influence is a little low, so I'm going to bribe. Turks? Being in the way of true arranged love? Okay, this should get me within reinforcement range. Should I go ahead and attack, or... No, you want this one, right? Yeah, because it was mine, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, my army is a bit banged up, but... We're at, like, I'd say 70% strength, and there's 19 stacks. Okay. Then or, it's next, like 19 stacks. Next turn, I'll, I'll sweep in with the Children of Doom, and then we'll have three stacks, and we can just slaughter them. Cool. What are those rebels down here doing? Uh, they just sprung out of Dura Cortorum. I can't get the area to be happy. Because of all the, the fighting and stuff. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to put down at least one rebellion before happiness returns to my captured territory. Um, can repair, though, a couple of buildings that might help with the lack of happiness. Things are improving in Britain, though. That's nice. Slowly but surely. And of course, those armies back home had to stay there because that was, in fact, my only army back home, as small as it is. 
awkwardly, I can't afford a number of the research uh, selections. So, how much are you making per turn? It's varying quite a bit right now. Right now, eight sixty. Okay. But like last turn, it was something like three hundred. <laughs> So many large open areas, just taking the rest of France is going to take a while. Yeah, especially seeing it's taking so long to solidify our control. Like, I don't think our armies are going to be able to march out without keeping an eye over their shoulders for like another 30 turns it feels like well if we just have a small fast army that can travel around putting down rebellions yeah like get back home i mean i think that'll be fine but that requires money and then we're back to the 30 turns again <laughs> yep i have my first rebellion it looks like oh, it's oh so tiny. they've attacked duracorkum again cool fantastic yeah! i'm gonna auto resolve it yeah! But Jeremiah, look, look from there. Look, look at the cute little rebel army right there. That's adorable. Sucks, I'm gonna lose another town I've put money into. Hopefully they're not burning those down and they're just taking them. Oh, Octodurum. Rebellion. Also, not to be, you know, a Debbie Downer, but the Huns are coming. <laughs> they might be coming. No, you see them right there? Oh. They're in Octo Durham right now, pillaging. They're not burning the towns, but they're definitely raiding the trade routes. All right, well, I need Augusta Trevorium. I want it. Ready for battle. We take this settlement for the Ooh, tribe. Are we going to fight this one? Uh, uh, I'm going to auto-resolve it. We have such overwhelming force. That's true. The reinforcing is pretty intense. Rah! Yeah, bigger fish to fry. Yes, my lord. Well, that was quick. I had it all. <laughs> would love the money, but I will peacefully occupy because I kind of just need them to chill. <laughs> I will peacefully occupy for now. I mean, the Children of Doom are heading right for Durokatorum. Ready for battle. All right, and we'll see what the Huns want to do. They might go for Octodurum. Yeah, I'm not really sure, like, if they're coming for us. I guess we're going to just bunch all the armies up and take them on. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Yeah. Warriors all. Let's see, because I have a 20 stack... 20 stack you have a 19 stack that could stand to beef up a little more and then you have the black and sails which have a 10 i thought you had another army up here oh yeah you do in lug dunham odin's fist so i think actually if the huns show up we can give them a run for their money we just have to get all of our armies on them as fast as possible and hope that that's not just the first wave true <laughs> I doubt it is, though. I don't know, because from what I understand, the single player slash co-op in Attila is modeled after the real deal, and the real deal was waves, right? Like, Yeah, but I mean, I don't think it's going to... Like, I don't think they're just going to show up and wipe us all out. 
We shall see. All right, I'm researching family workshops. That'll take forever. And I don't know if any of this securing of loyalty did anything. I will secure one loyalty, please. Alright, not sure there's anything else to do on this turn. Warriors all other than assign some stuff. Hostile agent activity. There's a we rebel failed. army you have a rebel army near between Turenum and Lugdunum. I'd highly recommend you take an army and just wipe them out as soon as you can. Yeah, I agree. Um, coming for you. Wait. That's actually that's actually Western Roman rebels. I thought that was my rebellion. That's interesting. I have a lot of buildings to convert. <laughs> Faction encountered Geet Separatists. And the Bloodsickles have established a long lasting legacy. Um, where should I position the blood sickles? What would help you the best? Um, let's see. They won't reach all the way to those rebels, but you could almost do that with Odin's fist. Uh, I think we should be prepared for the Huns to show up. If you just hung the blood sickles out, kind of in the middle, like if you're looking at their as far as they can go, if you start sending them back towards Lugdunum, you see kind of that little clearing they can end up in. Yeah. Yeah. If you just leave them in there, they can get to any of our towns within one turn. And if if even if you want to like set them up as a a camp to help them replenish a little bit, okay, and just have them ready. Because I'm sure yeah. someone will need them. Because I don't want to take uh, Duro Cortorum. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that next turn with Soldier and Doom because that was mine. I'm just gonna burn it down again. Yeah, I was just looking at that's uh, one of three. You own one, one is desolate, so that's making progress at least. Yeah, I'll move them south, and then next turn I'll deploy them into a, a camp, basically. But other than possibly... Trade options, I don't think I have a whole lot going on. I don't think I can trade with anyone else, because I don't have any... Uh... I don't have any more ports. Hmm. Wait, Geet Separatists. Did you just lose your capital? Me? Yeah. Uh, yep. That was one of the things they were talking about. <laughs> That happened really quickly. Did you have a civil war or Yeah, apparently. I ignored some of that. For the tribe. That explains why I'm not making all that money now. Oh. Shoot, I kinda need to take that back. Hey, can the Jotun Slayers come help? They need a lot of recruitment first. We can hire some mercenaries or something, but I think we should need to get rid of the Geet Separatists as soon as possible. 
Okay, I'm gonna recruit three units of troops, but that's going to wreck all of my savings. Ready for battle. Four units. Woo. Uh, Just recruit as many as you can get in one turn so you can get, still get back over. Yeah, yeah. Um, the blackened sails are sailing north as well. Thanks. Yeah, I've got I, enough I totally land that. armies to hold down mighty league conquered territories although i think i'm pretty much guaranteed a rebellion in the very near future in france keep that army in the middle just stomp them out yep i mean next turn you should be going for that rebel army anyway they'll be stronger now, which one are you referring to you have a rebel army in france between Turunum and lugdunum yeah, I thought that too. I actually pointed that out. Uh, that is the Western Roman rebels, and it's not my rebellion. If you look, they're on the other side of the border. I know, but they're rebels. They're still going to try to take something. That's true. They shall soon meet their fate. Morale. Ooh, plus three versus Romans. I hope the separatists count, because I'm choosing that. Cool. Well, they want to fight now. 590 versus 330. Want to do it? Where is it? Uh, Hreft Assault. We're fighting this one on the battlefield. This is going to require a little battlefield cunning. Yeah. Hmm. We could win. What happens if I retake your capital? That's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so they only have a couple units, but they're all full strength. I have a bunch of units that are terrible strength. Um, I'm going to take the cavalry and go for the catapults. Okay. I will give you... We will pierce their hearts. I'm going to give you the main line, actually. Warlord. Okay. Hmm. Damn. Deadly missiles ready. And I'll just keep skirmishers with you. Alright, ready? Hold on. Doing a group formation. I'm going to do skirmish formation. Warriors okay, ready? You want to head to this tree line? Yes. Riders ready. I'm going right here. I'm going straight for the catapults. Ooh, that's a lot of cavalry. The enemy has been sighted. Very happy skirmishers. They're eager. Mm, I'm forming a line. That cavalry is charging. Sounds good. Ready for battle. Warriors, move out. Get running. Uh, turn a little bit. Yeah. All right, catapults are hitting it, hitting us, but they shouldn't oh, for much longer. Man, that that hurt a lot. Cavalry is hitting them now. Nice. Oh, hold it together, man. I know it sucks. I think they're charging towards their reinforcements. Their reinforcements are like 50 people. I know, it doesn't make any sense, but 
This is the AI we're talking about. Ooh. Cavalry is turning. Cavalry is turning hard. Watch this right here. Yep, here they come. Oh, they're teasing. I'm just gonna keep my, uh... I'm gonna keep my horses... ...in the back. And forgotten about. Charge my spearmen in. Lances down, boys. You got one set of spears not doing anything. Yeah, he's watching the left flank. He's barely alive, so. Oh, yeah, he's gonna close in the left side. All right, I'm gonna throw my cavalry against their their general and try to keep him off the back. Okay. Forming a line for this fight here. Yeah, if your skirmishers can keep harassing that cavalry, that would be good. There you can. You're gonna try to just keep pulling us away from the fight. Committing. Here we go. I'm gonna commit a lot of forces to the fight here in the center, try to wear them down quickly. Alright. We can break them quickly. We can try to hit those full strength skirmishers. I'm throwing my guys at the skirmishers. Okay. To get them to move away. Good call. Nice. They were shooting their own general in the back there a bit. Aha, see, as soon as they moved away, their guys started breaking near you. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. Should I concentrate on the general, let you chase those guys? Yeah. I'm throwing my general against their general. Ooh, there's spears in the back. <laughs> Not good for you. Not good. Do it, boys. Come on. Move. Come on, you swine. Hitting their general in the back. Oh, there's a lot of blood in the snow. A lot of blood. Wipe out the rebel scum! The general's breaking. <laughs> he can't, there's nowhere to go. Moving my pikemen to focus Maybe everyone to focus on the last unit. Have one unit of cavalry try to take the general. Oh. The enemy general is fallen. <laughs> Just like that. Wow, that was close. That was awesome. They will bleed for us. Wait a second. Get running. I don't want them to get away. I can understand this. What a fight. Yeah, I just run them all down. Oh, the blood. And they'll make it across the border. Where the general fought is just a pile of horse and human bodies and blood and shields. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. I don't think they moved for a long time. That was impressive, for sure. That was... Get your capital back now? 
Uh, they... No, I was not attacking the capital. They came out and attacked me. Although okay. their garrison army was the reinforcements. They do have another army in the area, but I could probably retake my capital. Ah, uh, they have a navy there as well. It's a single ship, but I would wait until I can cross to help. I can buy some mercenaries too. Their second army just came in. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, they've got like 700. What do you think? Versus, versus 400. Your, I just auto resolve that. Ooh, all right. Defeat. But. Retreat. I can retreat. No. Can't retreat now. Rah. Yeah, oh. I, I guess you're going to take my capital. Rather than let them have it, I guess. Yeah, it's yours now. You could use the money. It's a relatively stable area. <laughs> Says the man that just lost a civil Up war. Up until that war, which was kind of out of the blue. But yeah, they're not very strong over there. So if you can get there quick... Yeah. Our allies want the doom from the deep destroyed. Uh, what is... Where are they? Doom from the deep? That is amazing. I don't even know where they are, though. Doom from the deep. Oh, they're over at... Bertigalia. Um, I don't really have a fleet anymore. Ready for battle. So I will most likely not be doing that. Settlement. Let them cower before us. Uh, I'll auto resolve that one. Ah! Well, there goes his head. I will occupy. For the tribe. Please, everyone, Ready just chill. Ready for, orders. for like two minutes, you know what I'm saying? The Huns are at Oct. Oh, they're coming. They're coming for Octodurum. Look. Oh, 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 oh yep. through the mountains. That needs to be our priority. Okay, the rebellion is happening right now. I'm going to go for that. I can crush it this turn. Okay. I'm going to stay in Augusta Trevorium. Well, no, Vizantium's got walls, too. Ready for battle. The Children of Doom are going to move to Visantio. I'm going to move up there. I think we just need to make a wall of, with our armies. Because they don't have stuff to siege with. Yeah. So if we have some catapults, we can murder them. There are two rebel armies, by the way, so you should, you should really try to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two full stacks in the area. All right, what do I have to do so they'll start gaining health back at Duracork? I gotta, I gotta repair it. That's what I gotta do. I just realized you captured that. Drunk on watch. The man was drunk when he was supposed to be on watch. Engage in faction politics to deal with your subject or wait until it blows over. Or I can decimate my forces. Let every 10 men draw straws. 
He who draws the shortest shall be killed by his fellows. <laughs> you know what it instills discipline, Jeremiah? I mean, apparently it worked. In the old days, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. What instills discipline is when one man is drunk on watch, and so 10% of the army must die. I choose decimation. Really? Yep. Why? Well, Beer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, fear. <laughs> okay. I'm going to promote that guy to companion. Uh, the bastard son can't quite do anything just yet. I don't know if I really want him to do anything just yet. I have a thousand gold. I think I'm gonna try to retake your capital quickly with some mercenaries, spend that thousand gold, and then put down my rebellions back down here in France. But uh, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point, wouldn't you say, Jeremiah? That's I think so. Things are heating up. Yeah. As usual, the steamroller did not quite pick up as much steam as we thought it was going to. <laughs> that was a lot of wins at first, you know? Felt pretty good. I think our overall position is still strong. Yeah, I mean, compared to our first attempt at this campaign, we're doing much, much better. I mean, we own Great Britain, and the rebellions that we've had there, I mean, it's it's been so small, you know? Yeah, and, and we'll, we're we going to get control over a good chunk of France, and eh, I'm not real worried right now, honestly. No. The Huns are coming up, but I think we have an army that, I think we have armies that are equal um, it'll be a very, very rough fight when they get here, but I think we could, we could win. And they're playing it cautious too. They're not at war with us yet. And they're, they're picking off the weaker, you know, the, the rebels and the, the lone states first, you know? Yeah. So we'll see if we can stop the wall of hunts. We'll see you guys next time.